Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly humanize your tracks using the quantize settings in FL Studio. So for example, I'm going to show you how to kind of take this drum beat. You know, it sounds really robotic. And kind of um, have it sound a bit more like this. which sounds a lot more natural, uh, especially if I solo this sound. Alright, so let's take a look at how to do that. So I'm in pattern 2, which is the very robotic sounding one. And so I'm going to open the piano roll. Um, if you have placed the sounds in the step sequencer, just um, you know, open it up in the piano roll. And then all you have to do is go up to the tools and select quantize. So you want to pick a template. And there are quite a few templates that you can pick from. Um, you, know, you can go into the humanizing presets specifically. which gives you some templates for you know, humanizing the groove or the levels. Um, but you can also use some of these other uh, templates as well. So the one that I used for this particular example is the loose feel. So I'm going to open that one up. And then you can adjust the start time um, amount to determine how much it actually applies that humanization. And then same with the duration as well. Um, for one-shot drum samples, the duration doesn't matter that much. So you can see the red lines are kind of where the template snaps to. If I turn the start time and the duration all the way up, you know, the notes really snap to those red lines. Um, so with the start time all the way off and the duration all the way off, it just is the original pattern. Um, so you know, I recommend you play the sound and adjust the start time until it sounds right. Same thing with the duration, if you're playing something other than drums that has a uh, you know, sustain to it. But in this case, since it's just drums, the duration doesn't matter. And then down below this, you also have the option to quantize the different levels. Um, most of the templates that I've looked at so far uh, only use the velocity. You know, they don't really have any panning um, or, or any of this other stuff. But that's not to say that none of them do. I just haven't seen it personally. So, you know, I feel like this is a bit too much for the velocity, so I might, you know, bring that down a bit. And then I'll just um, hit accept here and see what it sounds like. So to me, that sounds a lot better than it used to. But I also think it needs a bit more variance in the level. So I can... Um, you know, use a different, a different preset for the quantize uh, that only affects the level, but instead I'm just going to use randomize. And uh, I'm going to hit reset. Uh, you want to make sure the pattern is off and the levels are on. And then I'm just going to you know, increase the velocity amount. Um, if you don't want it to get louder, you can turn off bipolar and that way uh, you can take the velocity down, and it will only adjust it below the highest levels you have. So you can see it's just taking everything down. And, you know, if the particular randomization doesn't look that good to you, so in this case, I think I want these hits to be quite a bit louder, you can kind of scroll through the seeds until you find one that looks a lot better. Um... So this one looks okay to me. You know, these are kind of uh, louder, so I'm going to accept that one. And then I'm going to bring the levels of some of these down a bit so that they don't overpower these ones. Um, so l let's see how that sounds. And let's compare that to what we had before. Yeah, 
And so I think that sounds a lot more natural. Um, the next thing you can do is, you know, if you want to kind of have the same rhythm and stuff for your other sounds, you can just open them up in the piano roll and do quantize and just hit accept uh, because it does save the previous settings. You can see that the template is set to loose feel. So I'm just going to hit accept on that. Um, same thing with this. Accept. Um, and yeah, this one doesn't need to be quantized. I want these to hit on the beat. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to kind of make some slight adjustments, you can go in afterwards and adjust anything that you think needs adjusting. Um, either the velocity of the individual hits or perhaps even the note placement. Um, but you know, this is definitely a good way to at least get started with the humanization. And uh, as you can hear, you know, it sounds a lot more natural than it did before. And one more thing you can do if you want, uh, you know, if you want a bit more humanization, instead of, um, let me go back a few steps. So instead of uh, using the exact same quantize settings, you can go in and, you know, instead of having the start time exactly the same, have it a little bit different. Because uh, that will mean that, you know, your other sounds aren't hitting at exactly the same time. You know, there's a little bit of a difference there. And that just adds even more to the humanization. Um, so yeah, that's how you can quickly, you know, get started with humanizing your patterns. Uh, hopefully it's helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials, and I try to release new ones every week. I also do my best to keep things pretty organized so that you can find what you're looking for a bit more easily. So thanks again guys for watching the video, and hopefully I'll see you next time.